Today, on CEF Investors, we are going to review the Cornerstone Strategic Value Fund, ticker symbol CLM. Is CLM right for you? We can answer that question in just a few minutes. We are going to look at the fund's purpose, ratings, performance, dividends, holdings and NAV. At the end of the video we will sum up what we have learned and give CLM a grade in the top categories. If you like information about closed-end funds, then please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. But first the legal stuff. I am not an attorney, accountant, or financial advisor, and the information supplied in this video, is not intended to provide financial or investing advice. Please speak with a qualified financial planner, before making any investment decisions. A fund's past performance does not necessarily predict its future results. Any investments the author has in the reviewed fund, will be fully disclosed. The resources used in this video, are from publicly available websites, and may or may not, contain accurate information. Now, let's get started. The Cornerstone Strategic Value Fund was incorporated in Maryland, on May 1, 1987, and commenced investment operations, on June 30, 1987. The fund's investment objective, is to seek long-term capital appreciation, through investment in equity securities, of U.S. and non-U.S. companies. In determining which securities to buy for the fund's portfolio, the fund's investment advisor uses a balanced approach including, value and growth investing, by seeking out companies at reasonable prices, without regard to sector or industry, which demonstrate favorable long-term growth characteristics. The first thing I like to check when researching a fund, is what do the experts say. Let's hop over to Morningstar and get their rating. Morningstar assigns star ratings based on their analysts' estimates of a stock's fair value. A 5-star stock is a good value at its current price, a 1-star stock isn't. Star ratings, which are updated daily, can change for three reasons, because analysts alter their estimate of a stock's fair value, because a stock's price changes, or both. Ratings that change because analysts alter their estimate of a stock's fair value, are marked with the asterisk symbol. Morningstar has rated CLM as 4 stars, so that's good. The next place I like to check out is The Street. On The Street's website they say that, unlike many other rating agencies, they analyze both fundamental and technical risk factors. They use more rigorous standards for accuracy, to support their foundational belief, that a good investment should be able to perform well, regardless of the direction of the overall stock market. The Street gives CLM an investment rating of B, a performance rating of A+, and a risk rating of C. Positive factors that influence this rating include, a well above average total return, low price volatility and low expense structure. The fund invests approximately 99% of its assets in stocks, and may be considered for investors, seeking an equity income strategy. And last, let's look at bar chart. Bar chart opinions, show traders what a variety of popular trading systems are suggesting, in terms of going long or short the market. The opinions takes up to 5 years worth of historical data, and runs these prices through 13 different technical indicators. After each calculation, the program assigns a buy, sell, or hold value for each study, depending on where the price lies, in reference to the common interpretation of the study. Bar chart says that CLM, is a strong buy. Now let's check out this fund's performance. Total return, takes both capital gains and dividends into account, in order to provide a complete picture, of how a stock performed over a specified time period. This can be extremely useful, for evaluating investment returns among dividend-paying stocks, and for comparing the performance, of dividend-paying stocks to those without any dividends, or other distributions. According to Seeking Alpha's website, for the past year, the total return for CLM, has outperformed the total return of the S&P 500, by about 10%, which is excellent performance. Seeking Alpha also shows, that the price of CLM for the last 5 years, has remained in the $10 to $20 range. Continuing on, let's check out the dividends. Dividends are payments a company makes, to share profits with its stockholders. They are generally paid on a regular basis, usually monthly or quarterly, and they are one of the ways investors earn a return, from investing in stock. Again, according to Seeking Alpha, the dividend yield currently is around 15%, which is excellent. Also, this fund just raised its dividend for the first quarter of 2022, also an excellent sign. If we look at the historical yield on cost, we can see that for the last 5 years, the yield has generally been between 10 and 20%. All in all, 
For the last five years, this fund has had very stable price and yield. Before we look at the holdings of this fund, let's find out what sectors are performing well. Comparing the sectors of our fund to the sectors that are doing well can give us valuable insight. Over at Finviz we can see, for the last year that the top five sectors are energy, real estate, technology, financial, and communication. Now let's see what holdings are in our fund. At Seeking Alpha we can see that the top five sectors are technology, financial, healthcare, consumer, and communication. You can see that this fund is focused on three of the top five performing sectors right now. The top 10 holdings are all well-known companies such as, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan, Meta, United Health, Visa, and Tesla. What review of a closed-end fund would be complete, without a look at the NAV? Over at CEF Connect, we can see that for the last five years, this fund has traded at a premium. So if you are the type of investor, that always wants to buy a discount, then this fund is not going to be for you. And as full disclosure, I currently own 100 shares of CLM and will be looking to add more to my portfolio. This fund fits into my investment goals and strategy as a solid performing, good paying dividend fund. So is CLM a buy for you? Let's review what we have covered. We have three different sources all giving CLM a buy recommendation, so let's give this fund a B for ratings. Since CLM is outperforming the S&P 500, we need to rate this fund as an A, for performance. Anytime a fund can pay steady dividends over 10%, you would need to give it an A also, for dividends. After reviewing the holdings and the main investment sectors, CLM should get a solid B, for holdings. You can see that CLM definitely has some things going for it. Maybe CLM can meet some of your investment goals and strategies also. Well. That wraps up this episode, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell. Thanks, and we will see you next time.